Okay, here we go. All rise. So is it ever gonna be explained why everything looks so fucking pink? Class trial. So Cause your votes will determine the results. Okay. If you can figure out, then I'll punish every. Okay. Well. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. All right. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Which should be pretty obvious. Kyoko. There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's right here, clearly. So how is that possible? Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> she has legs and stuff. I mean, ghosts can still have legs. Have you ever watched well, Supernatural? Just because seems like the latest evolution in ghost technology. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoko, right? <laughs> Motherfucker, do we really have to discuss this? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Okay. Traits? One important thing, well, one important trait Kyoko has that proves the body does not belong to her. Face, piercing glare, gloves. I got. It. I think we are onto something here, actually. I'm talking about her gloves, they'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Yeah. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse was Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're going to be stuck here in the case we'll move forward. So, I don't have any choice but to... Counter Hero's Objections. Okay, make your arguments. Tattoo on the right hand, fake nails, and exploded bit body analysis. Okay. Alright. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Okay. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion! Oh, shit. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion? Well, yeah! She must have been wearing gloves! Cause that cool? She must! Absolutely Kyoko! She- okay, so... This entire discussion is idiotic. Okay, so that's his two points right there. Wait, I forgot what the point is. But the first po the second point he says something about he has to- she has to be wearing gloves. Why is he so sure about that? Okay, then prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Okay, we don't want to misprove because that's always a count. Oh shit, oops, I forgot, I tried to. Okay, goddamn, okay, how do I review the evidence? And, oh my god, I gotta... Fake nails, okay. Tattoo on the right hand. I know the body is in Kyoko and I can, can prove it. Okay. Exploded body analysis, that doesn't have anything. Fake nails? Tattoo. Yeah, fake nails. If she's wearing well ghost. Hold on. Let me try this. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing Oh yeah! She must have been wearing gloves. I'm gonna try this just in case. Okay, yeah, because I, I forgot what kind of gloves uh, uh, Kyoko was wearing. There's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Because the corpse had fake nails, but I'm not sure if the nails... I, I don't know. I, I think I'm on the right track with this one, though. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Yeah, plus if you're trying to show off your manicure, then why wear gloves to begin with? <coughs> Sailor Moon. <coughs> Besides... Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? You're complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom-made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. 
The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoka. This is really neat a discussion. I mean, can we just ignore fucking Hiro's account? It should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First that should be really obvious, though. Okay. That's the first thing I said. <laughs> God damn. The one who's been dragging us around in circles. <sighs> Before anything, I feel like this game is just trying to pad out the gameplay here because of Hero. Okay, before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Alright. Let's start the shit out. So try and go shoot. Sprinklers, exploded bananas, and tattoo on the right hand. Alright, that's probably the most important thing to decipher who the dead body is. Who really is still alive? Then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. Okay. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Okay. Well, if we can't identify the body... Then there's nothing else we can do, right? We can't identify the body with the tattoo on the right hand. Bam. Right there. Okay. You go really even who died. We found a star with her The face was scorched and there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. we can't identify the body... There we go. No, that's wrong. So far, easy peasy. Alright. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? If you're lying, you'll die of- Shut up. Ooh, an unusual- She's just being stupid. Ignore them- Thank you, Aoi. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this... a dog? Her master must have made her get it. To be like, you're my bitch! Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? If you compare the tattoo to other information, we can... okay. Where's the information, though? This is it, right? Oops. That's a young age, this really too. Apparently, some members if near gets a tattoo, something on represents. Okay. Here it is. Easy peasy. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? That image that represents Fenrir is... Is this the Hangman's Gambit? I think it is. Yeah, here, okay. I think I already know the answer ahead of time because... from Oh, it's four letters, never mind. Wolf? Alright, this is easy. Beats better than whatever the fuck the first two trials were. Okay. Wolf, that's easy to comprehend. So where the hell did I get Ragnarok from exactly? A wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. There we go. Norse mythology. Okay. Huge world ending wolf beast. Okay, that's where I got the Ragnarok from. Trickster god Loki. And a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. A wolf tattoo. And that means. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. Alright, so we identified the victim. Who the killer is, that's beyond the other question. Uh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a clue last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. Yep. Being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Yeah, that's what the first time thing you would think, Maybe huh? We shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. Yeah, that's true. It was that she was the ultimate soldier. That is true. If I remember correctly, 
That other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Kyoko, I'm sorry, but I kind of have to agree with Yaki uh, here. You do feel like you're suspicious, especially considering how you've been pretty much absent throughout the entire group. Who was she? Who was Mukuro Hikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Wait a fucking minute, can I... Uh, the fu Okay, oh, if she counts as a fucking participant, then she's obviously breaking the one important rule about to a class at class trial. Unless, for some reason, she wasn't there. I mean, or she was there, it's just... Okay. So for all surviving students... Unless she wasn't a surviving student. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know anymore. Okay. Then who's the real mastermind? That's probably a discussion for the next chapter, but who knows? No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Really? Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! You usually don't interrupt during class trials. This feels like you're hiding something here, Monokuma. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will Sorry, I need to adjust the pop filter for a second. Okay, there we go. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brain! What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then, one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been- <laughs> Oh, I wrong. wish. I wish. Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! If she's taking part- where the fuck is she then? Seriously? Then, one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. You know, I'm prediction time, I'm guessing. Sounds very far-fetched, but if Makoto somehow killed her in his sleep, then we're fucked. But this could be an interesting turn, because so far we clearly have almost to no information whatsoever about this and who killed her. We just know that apparently four alibis are done. It could also be a suicide, but... Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Me and Kyoko. Toko and Genocide Jack, okay. And the Headmaster. I got it. it is true. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. The dead body, of course, could have been in another position, but... Okay, that's what the... Must have taken place after I left the garden. Or some place other than the garden. That could also be a possibility as well. Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... ...are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it! I can't let this stand. However, I have to clear my name. Um, 
I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. Alright, so we know the dead body is not after 10 o'clock. Or in between those time spans, maybe. Who oh, no. knows? So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Okay. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was 9 okay, o'clock. And she went to go get the- 9 o'clock a.m. Or 9.01. At 9 o'clock, there we go. I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m., since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. Yeah, of course, no one else can have a witness account for that, but... but... I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh yeah! Right around 7.30! I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Which means 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. I guess this is one way to clear my name or have myself as an alibi because at the mur we're gonna this only to assume that the murder did in fact took place in the garden. Okay, the murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. till 7:30 a.m. Okay, 7:30 a.m. That's when the body. Okay, okay, yeah, we got. So that's when the sprinklers came in. The body should have been wet. So, oh, sorry if I bumped the microphone too much. Okay, then it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I had to make it clear when the body was ended up in the garden. Okay. Let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, this music's so epic. All right, Sprigglers, perfect. All right, got it in my head right there. Fragments near the body and exploded body parts. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night uh, damn it. and 9 o'clock in the morning. Who the fuck's saying 2 o'clock? And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. To 7.30, that's and obviously the one. Time to commit murder, I should think. Right. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. Okay, I got it. There's something that happens in the garden at the same time every morning. Okay, this, thanks for telling me a, a huge fucking hint, game. Established a time frame for the murder took place somewhere between 10 and 9 o'clock in the middle, and Makoto just blah, from 7 to Wait, what? Shoot! Wait a minute, what the shit? Hold on, what what did I fuck up in? Established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between ten o'clock at night. Oh yeah, there's also the triangle hole thing. In the morning. So seven o'clock at night or something like that. Doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from ten o'clock to seven thirty. Okay, so if it's not sprinklers, then what the fuck is it? More than enough time to commit. Okay, wait a fuck, man. Let me. Okay, so if it's not the sprinklers that's proved my alibi, then. Okay, exploding body analysis. Main on fire had to be extinguished because of this. The upper, okay, so it has to be this one? Well, the bottom half remained dry. Okay. So, exploded. If you have any up. So, it's this thing, right? Exploded body, okay. It has to be this one if it's not the freaking sprinklers. Which should have counted for the same thing because it's basically 
explaining for what the fuck happened to the body, but okay, whatever. Whatever, game. It's not that one either. Okay, so it has to be- so I might be off track or am I thinking about head, getting ahead of myself here? Okay, and I got three minutes to uncover this shit too, so I gotta be very, very careful. We've established a time frame for the murder. Fragment near the dead body. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock at night. Let me see if there's any evidence pertaining to that. Start to... Uh, okay. Sprinklers. Every morning at 7.30 in this day. We assume that the body had been in the garden before 7.30, it would have gotten wet. 7 a.m., okay. Makoto wakes up to the morning announcement. When the body was found, okay. What was the other evidence again? And Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Fragments near the dead body, okay. Let me see if I can pay attention to that. There were bits of charred debris near the body. It should be noted that the bomb which had ex been removed from Makoto in the gym had disappeared. Is that the case? Would I be able to- okay, maybe this could be the case as well, but it seems like a far-fetched idea. Can't hurt to try, right? Okay, I'm definitely on the wrong track here, I feel. So, it might not even have to do with this at all. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night oh, shit. and 9 o'clock in the morning. Nine 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Shit, oops! From 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough. To 7.30. You know, by now we could just probably try and objection everything and pray for the best. Because I'm honestly really stuck here. If it's not if it's not the sprinklers, and it's not the condition of the dead body, and it's not the debris, then it has to be something, or it could be something like the first statement, which I don't think it should even connect whatsoever. Okay, let's try the 2 7 p.m. Time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. No, it's not this either. I'm probably way, way off track here. Oh shit! Oops! Didn't mean to do. Okay. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just basically guessing by now, because I have no clue what the fuck's going on. Okay, let's try this again. Let's get the run back here, guys. Nobody believes me. At least this time, it actually makes sense for me to be the accused. Because I'm in the stand here. I'm the one that's kind of being guilty of something. Hey, that one was Makoto. However, Makoto is not the black one too bad. Okay. So my theory of saying, oh, it might, it has to be Makoto. It may be Makoto because he killed it in his sleep, but it's not, apparently. According to Monokuma, so. Is, is this... Yes, yeah, give it another shot. I refuse to give up yet. Okay, I can't give up now. Yeah, considering how we have pretty much infinite continues in this in this game, what's so yeah, we pretty much have infinite continues here, so it doesn't really matter if we continuously fail. All right, sprinklers, exploded dead body, exploded body analysis, and fragments near the dead body. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. It's not that one. It's not that one. That's the only two then that we could object to. And we can't object it to each other. the time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock. No. Is it really that one? How does that pertain? Maybe it's saying, no, the murder has to take place after 7.30. That's my guess, I'm guessing. The murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. Okay, that makes sense. 
Although at the same time, I say the sprinkler should have also counterdict what Aoi was saying as well, but well, whatever. So I was on the right track, it's just apparently I was doing it the wrong, unspecific way, even though vaguely enough, it could have also worked as well, whatever. You say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on! I remember this part perfectly! Okay. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words! No, I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny Shh, my... Shut the fuck up, Toko. If you really think it was... You... Okay, this is easy. All I have to do is hit Toko with a certain evidence that should do it. Wait, is this a rhythm game part again? Fuck, if this is a rhythm game part... I could just tell you... Oh! Body analysis! Bottom part was unwet! <sighs> Fine. I admit you mean nothing! I need you! No, no, no! I don't know anything! How do I record? Uh... Hold on! Or are you trying to blame me? Okay, squares reload. I admit nothing! Nothing. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I only hate you. I don't know anything. Oh god. Hold on. Are you trying to blame me? Oh god. Okay, here we go. Final strike. There we go. This should prove it. Bam. Okay. There we go. Fuck that mini game, seriously. Nice rhythm game, but it has no point into having just for in this what I, uh, this area whatsoever the explosion and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers the top half of the body was wet yes but the bottom half was completely dry if the sprinklers got the body wet shouldn't the whole body have been wet so they only got the top wet the bottom was completely dry what a brutal maniac I'm so sick of her. I know, right? Move on. Yeah. Only the top oh shit, it's almost 30 minutes. Because... Alright, we'll be right back and we'll explain why the top reason was wet, even though, okay. Whatever. Stay tuned for that.